there is a lot of misinformation and a lot of information and misinformation on COVID-19 out there, and it's constantly changing as we learn more about the virus. In the early days of the pandemic, there were concern of ibuprofen, the fever medication in Motrin or Advil, could worsen COVID-19. It was based on a statement that reportedly came from the French health minister at the time. Now, there's a new study clarifying the issue. Dr. Frank McGeorge explains what the study found. The question over ibuprofen's potential effect on COVID was not clear-cut. The SARS-CoV-2 virus uses the ACE2 receptor to get into our cells, and there was reason to believe that certain medications like ibuprofen might increase the number of ACE2 receptors, which might lead to increased susceptibility to infection. At one point, agencies like the World Health Organization issued a recommendation to avoid the use of ibuprofen in COVID-19 patients, but subsequently they've retracted it. Now a new study published in the journal PLOS One is providing a direct answer. The researchers looked at data from over 9,000 Danish citizens who tested positive for SARS-CoV-2 between February and April, of whom nearly 250 filled prescriptions for ibuprofen in the 30 days before their diagnosis. Compared to people who did not use ibuprofen, there was no difference in hospitalizations, the need for an ICU, or deaths. The authors concluded that there was no reason to withhold ibuprofen solely because of a COVID-19 infection. Based on this new information, experts say there is no apparent concern about taking ibuprofen, increasing the risk of COVID-19. Well, the CDC has issued some guidelines on how you can celebrate Halloween and Thanksgiving safely. The agency says some of the lower risk activities include carving pumpkins and holding a virtual costume contest. Traditional trick or treating should be avoided to help prevent the spread of the virus. Also, costume masks should not be worn unless they are made up of at least two layers of fabric that covers the mouth and nose. When it comes to Thanksgiving, the agency recommends people have a small dinner with only those who live in your household and avoid shopping in crowded stores around the holiday season. Well, 20,000 American flags have been placed displayed on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. to mark all the American lives lost to COVID-19. With a death toll now above 200,000, each flag represents more than 10,000 Americans who died from the disease. The tribute was organized by the COVID Memorial Project. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi blasted the president, saying many of those deaths could have been prevented. The flags will remain in place until sunset tomorrow.